This isn't a military deployment. It's a medical deployment. These doctors are heading out on a 50-day trip to some of the most remote parts of Russia to provide basic medical care. I know exactly how people live in the places where we're sailing to. We have 39 settlements. I know what situation is there, what transport accessibility is there as a doctor and as a person. I really realize that this is the only way we can provide them with specialist medical care. Because even if a person from those areas gets to Tomsk, there's no guarantee that somebody medical is waiting for them. Doctors are not just providing basic medical checkups. The ship comes with some sophisticated medical equipment. We try to be mostly autonomous. We bring ultrasound, our own lab. Last year, they managed to bring even an extra machine. When the doctors arrive, there are inevitably long lines and a long wait. But it is all free, from eye exams to ultrasound to medicine. Oh, we eagerly await the doctors because we have problems here. In our clinic, there is one medic only, no other specialist, actually. The medical boat costs about $200,000 a year to maintain but it's changed the lives of the people who live in this remote area of Russia. My husband has got diabetes, hypertension, and he broke his leg. He uses a lot of medicines, plenty. Somewhere, the medicines are prescribed for free. So either the specialists come here or we go to a town. The doctors who work on the boat get paid well, but many say they do it for the help they provide as well as a sense of adventure. We work probably in the most unique place on the planet, the great Vasugan swamps, which are the lungs of the planet. That's the endless, wide area with its own nature and people living here. The population density here is so low that you are more likely to meet a bear rather than a human. This team will travel about 4,000 kilometers during this trip, and most say they'll sign up again next year. Kevin Enix, POA News, Washington.